Right, it's happened. I finally ascended. I went an entire week without using the internet whatsoever, not the internet. I actually ended up not using uh, computers or phones or anything like that either. Um, and, you know, I, I think if I wanted to do a good clickbait video, you know, I'd probably say something like, and it changed my life. But the weird thing is it actually didn't change my life. In fact, my life, weirdly enough, was, I don't want to say it definitely wasn't exactly the same, but you realize exactly how little you need the internet when you go without it for all this time. I mean, I've talked about in other videos, mainly when talking about like social media and like cell phones and how much I hate them. Um, you know, there's this tendency, there's this uh, habit that people get, you know, when they're addicted to cell phones where if they go like a second of boredom or even if they imagine they, that they might become bored, they just immediately pull out that phone, scroll through the social media feed, whatever. Um, so there's this tendency and, you know, psychologically what happens there is, um, you know, once you start doing that and you, you see all this like pseudo information, you see all this junk on social media um, and you sort of feel like you're being informed or you're being bettered or you're learning more about your friends by doing this kind of stuff. But um, when you just go, go cold turkey without it, you sort of realize like exactly how untrue that is. And I think that was definitely my my case when I went a week without the Internet. And so anyway, how did this happen? Now, first off. Um, a week or so before this week happened, um, I, I sort of felt like, okay, I've been using the internet in maybe antisocial ways in the sense that, uh, uh, you know, I was using it, um, you know, I don't have a social media account or anything, but I do have email. I get lots and lots of emails. Um, so responding to emails, of course, I, you know, barely respond to 5% of my emails, but it still takes up a lot of time to deal with them. And, you know, there's, I guess, a lot of uh, enjoyment in that. And in the same way, I have, you know, RSS feeds for all these uh, things that I subscribe to. And uh, sometimes you just get too many. Like, you always feel like, okay, well, great, this new article's up here. I better look at that, or this guy posted this. Um, and it's it sort of exactly, it, sometimes it ends up being exactly the same as social media, just without the upcomings and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I was definitely like, okay, I've been using this stuff too much. I'm neurotically updating my RSS feeds too much. So I'm just going to go without it, okay? We're, ju we're just going to go without it for a week. See how we can do, okay? And um, now, first off, it should be obvious that once I, you know, I turned off the internet, I woke up the next day, and uh, obviously that was the most productive day of my life. <laughs> it was probably the most productive day of my life, like before uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, because I got up, you know, you do, like the thing is, when you have that ability to be bored, okay? This is another video I gotta do, like why being bored is good, okay? But when you have that, when you have boredom sort of, uh, lurking um, uh, around you, you actually end up doing all the stuff that you know you've had to do for a long time. Uh, one of the first things I did is I actually cleaned out, uh, actually uh, I washed up my master bathroom, which I hadn't really been keeping up with. Like when you have a well, there's a lot of sort of uh, 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 minerals that get in the bottom of like bathtubs and stuff like that. So I scrubbed all that up with a Brillo pad. Uh, ended up cleaning up my garage. Uh, I ended up fixing my car, replacing the valve on my spare tire, finally getting a code reader for my car, uh, changing the oil, just like all these things, like all at once that most of which, you know, I've been putting off for like at least a month. Like I, I've needed an oil change for at least a month or so, maybe around there, if, if to be safe. Um, so all this kind of stuff I ended up doing, you know, immediately. Now, what I'm not trying to say, like the... In not using the internet, like its main benefits was not actually the fact that I got way more stuff done. Although it definitely is true that I got more, way more stuff done. Um, you also like spend your time very differently. Um, like I read, I probably read two or three books. I usually read no books uh, a week, but I probably read two or three books or at least parts of some other ones. Um, and I did that. Uh, and also like, for example, I had uh, long phone conversations with people. Because, you know, if I'm just sitting at the house, if I'm, you know, the, the thing is, okay, so on the internet, here's what happens. Uh, you're browsing a site, you get bored of that, you go to another site. Or you're browsing that site and you get bored, you go to yet another site. Okay, in real life, if you're bored, um, you do one thing you have to do, and if you get bored of that, you go to another, okay? Like, uh, you know, I, I started running Ethernet wires in my attic, which I've actually been meaning to do for like a full year. Um, and when I got bored of that, I'd do something else. Or if I was bored of doing all this kind of work, I'd call a friend and talk for an hour or so, uh, which is something that, that is just not in my, uh, not something you, you usually do nowadays. Um, I, I actually got a new phone, by the way, well, a new phone. Uh, I had this phone that really had really bad audio. We're talking about landlines here, of course. You know, we're boomers, we use landlines. Um, but the audio was just bad. But I ended up finding a nice rotary phone that was actually a little older, but the audio works a little better. Okay, so I like, 
I like this new phone. All this kind of stuff. Like I actually organized, I moved a bunch of stuff to the shed. Anyway, I'm just yapping about the things I did in my life, okay? It's not too important. Um, but just suffice it to say that I got lots of stuff done and you, ju you just spend your time differently, okay? Like when I went out on the town, usually when I go out on the, uh, on the town, you know, I pretty much do what I need to do and come back. Um, but, uh, you know, in this case, I, you know, I talked to random people. Uh, there was an old lady in a shop. I ended up talk talking with her with, uh, for like 90 minutes or something like that. Um, you know, just all, the, all this kind of stuff that uh, I guess normally you wouldn't do. Um, your time becomes more important when it's not burdened by trivial things, okay? Um, and not just more important, but you have so much more of it that you could actually do things that are a little more depthy, you know, if that, if that makes any sense. Um, so, and the weirdest thing is, even though, like, uh, I mean, I mean, the thing is, like, the temptation of using the internet occurred to me several times. Oh, and let me tell you, well, I'll get to, you know, what it was like when I first turned on the internet again. But, uh, you know, I was never really that tempted. Like, you're always like, okay, well, I could use the internet and sort of cheat here. Um, but I have so much, so many better things to do. And it just sort of recalibrates your, your desires to that, um, so I, I don't know. It's just it's just different, and and time like that week, that one week felt like it was like months in terms of the things I got done. Like every single day was like a week, basically. Um, uh, so you know, a long time. Uh, anyway, so eventually the week ended, and I was like, okay, well now I can use the internet again. You know, by my own valuation. So I decided to turn it on and just sort of. I mean, I mean, of course, in the back of the in the back of my mind for. All this time I was like, oh dude, something terrible on the internet could have happened. Like I could have, uh, my websites are down or like someone could have hacked my bank account or you know, all this kind of stuff that you know, is just, just crazy thoughts. Um, so I logged on and I synced my emails and saw the week's worth of emails that I haven't seen at all. There was only one that was important that I missed and that was no big deal, okay. But um, all the other ones, um, you know, and I just remember like turning on the internet again and the first feeling I feel, I thought it was going to be like a guilty pleasure, like, oh, yes, I'm finally on the internet again. It feels so good. I can do all this kind of stuff that I've been wanting to do. Um, but really the feeling, like the, my first impression was, wow, I haven't looked at a screen for like a week. It's actually really painful to look at a screen. My boomer eyes were squinting. I was just like, what? It, it literally hurts to look at a screen. You don't realize it until you haven't done it for a while. Because, um, you know, I didn't even look at a... a a cell I may have looked at no I did look at a cell phone screen for like a split second I had to turn uh, my cell phone on and off at one point you know you guys know I usually don't I, I basically keep my cell phone off all the time but um there's one situation where I had to of course I had airplane mode on it so you know no internet um but what was I saying um yeah like it it was just not like the guilty pleasure I thought it was going to be it, it's almost as if like I've been deconditioned from using the internet um, now I still have, um, I don't know, like I, I feel sort of bad. I did even record videos over that period, like not on the computer, but like, uh, with my phone. Um, and, uh, like, I don't know, I barely feel motivated to upload them because like the internet seems like some fake world now. Now I literally feel like a guy who's just talking to his phone in the woods. Is that what I am? I don't know. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, so of course I always highly recommend people to reduce their dependence on technology, and this is probably a good example. Um, I like the thing is I I sort of thought that I'd be really bored when I stopped using the internet, and I'm sure you will be bored uh, at, at, to some degree. Um, but the issue is like boredom is the thing that drives you on to do things that are important. Okay, so you know if you're in this constant state of pseudo uh, stimulation, like you're never going to get anything done. That's just the fact of the matter. Um, now at this point, I don't, I don't know if I'll be like, okay, I'm just going to go without the internet for like a month or something like that and go from there. Cause I sort of feel like, okay, now I can really easily constrain my internet usage. Like it's not something that's too difficult. Um, so I might be able going forward, like in the past couple days where I have been using the internet now, um, I don't know. It's just, I, I haven't been using it that much, frankly. It's not been like I'm returning to some kind of drug. Uh, all right. So anyway, that's about it. Um, you don't have to. You don't have to get to 10 minutes on YouTube anymore, even though my YouTube reflexes are, are almost there. Um, but so that's about it. I encourage you to do it. Try it out. Stop using social media. That's about it. See you guys next time.